Alright guys, so this video is going to be about how I got my job at MAC and how you can get a job there if you are interested or if you feel like you really, really want to work there or whatever the case may be. So just like a makeup background on myself, I got really, really interested in makeup when I was 15 after my quinceanera. The girl who did my makeup for my quince was actually the manager of one of the mat counters um, near where I live and she was one of my cousin's really really good friends so as a birthday gift and party gift whatever my cousin said um, to my mom of course she said hey tia don't worry about getting Daniela um, a makeup artist or don't like worry about looking for somebody because I have somebody for her and my mom was like okay cool you know whatever I'm all about it we did a trial and I absolutely loved how my makeup came out like I came home that day and I was like <laughs> what's going on like this looks hella pretty i didn't want to take off my makeup at night like i was just so in love with it um and i was just fascinated by how simple and well not how simple because it wasn't simple but how easy it was for me to just feel that much better about myself and yeah you know i was 15 or whatever but it it just it it made me feel some type of way so she did my trial and then she did my makeup for my quince after my kids, of course, I had a, a lot of gift cards um, for Macy's and for other things as well. And I'm 15, like, I'm not going to go into Macy's and be like, oh my god, this shirt's hecka cute or let me spend like a thousand bucks on clothes. Like, that wasn't what I was thinking. I was so in love with makeup that the majority of my gift cards went to MAC in Macy's because I built that trust level and that comfort level with the girl who did my makeup that I would constantly be going to her and asking her like hey when new collections are out what do you think I should use the first few eyeshadows that I bought this was my first combo was texture eyeshadow on the crease for the crease all that glitters for my lid I also bought carbon for my um, to darken my outer corner and then vanilla eyeshadow for my highlight and the two brushes that I bought was a 213 that small fluff brush and then um, a 224 for texture and carbon I slowly started off with like just putting on foundation and then I would add on concealer and then later on I would put on a blush and then I added like eyebrows, mascara, liner, like that became my everyday foundation my senior year in high school to the point where I just kind of like nailed it down and I had my whole routine down. Not that it was good or anything, but I felt like I, I had a good understanding of what it was that I was doing. So I graduated, turned 18, and then I um, had seen her again, the manager. Mind you, okay, when I would post makeup photos on my my Facebook, she would comment on them and she'd be like, oh my god, your makeup looks so pretty in here. And I'd be like, oh, what? A Mac girl thinks my makeup looks pretty? Like, what? So then when she approached me and she was like, hey, you know, um, you should really um, bring in your resume to the counter so I can try and get you on as a freelancer. I was like, what? And I was really taken back by it. So I was 18. It was honestly like my first real job the way that I went about it was I dropped off my resume there and mind you she told me when you come in make sure you're dressed in all black make sure your makeup is on point make sure that you know a little bit about Mac and what it is that we do um because I'm going to be asking you a few things I was like oh my god okay oh sh I don't know what to do so I went in with like the darkest smoky eye that I could think of and a dark lip because I just wanted to go all out I was wearing a blazer my hair was in a bun and I walked up in there and I was hecka nervous because all the Mac girls were there and they were all like looking at me they're like hey welcome in welcome in and I was like hi I don't know what I'm doing here so she took my resume and then a few weeks later I got called for an interview so the first interview that I had was a group interview and that is when you bring in um, a model of your choice and you are asked to do a certain makeup look on them so they'll give you a scenario like your customer is here for a um, New Year's Eve makeup she's asking for such and such on her eyes and this on her lips so investigate what her skin type is like investigate this investigate that and then we're gonna be going around and checking on you so when they're doing that they want you to execute of course a beautiful makeup look they're also observing and listening to what it is that you're saying to the customer if you're explaining about the products if you're showing them how to do it that's a really really important if they like 
what they see. Of course, they give you feedback on how you did. They'll give you a second call back, and that is for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the manager. So it's a little bit different now. When I went in, I had an interview with the managers from the counter. Now the way that they're doing it, at least in my region, when they call you back for a second interview, um, it's with the top half us, like the upper upper management. So not the store managers, but like las meras meras. Las meras meras? The main ones, pretty much. Let's say fast. So that's who your interview is with. And if they like you, then you get hired as a freelancer. So freelancers, of course, is when you bounce back from... Not bounce back, but you can work at different locations. You um, are pretty much in charge of your own schedule. If you call a counter and they have hours, they let you know what shifts they have. And if you can take them, then take them. If you don't, then you're not obligated to. So pretty much that's it. That's how, that's how it is. So the way that if you wanted to work for Mac, if you wanted to go about it, what I would recommend you do is going into the Mac counter, to your nearest Mac counter, or not even just to your nearest one, but go to a lot of counters. Talk to the manager when you drop off your resume and really let them get to know you. They're going to ask you a few things. What do you know about Mac? What do you love about it? What products are you wearing on your eyes right now? Because it happens a lot when people will come in and they're like, oh my god, I love Mac. I want to work for them so bad. Um, you guys are just an amazing company. And we'll ask, like, oh, well, tell me about yourself. Like, what do you have on right now? And they're like, oh, I have on Urban Decay. I have on um, this. I have on that. And that's not, like, a good first impression. Like, you want to go in looking your very, very best in all black. You want to go in looking like you're going to work for MAC, pretty much. And you want to own it to however it is that you choose. But... Just be yourself and own it. That would be my number one advice. So going to different Mac counters just so you don't drop off your resume at just one counter. But you have it at a ton of other counters. And what the manager does from there is they send it to their recruiter. And the recruiter looks over the resumes and they give people calls for freelance interviews. It is really, really fun working for Mac. There's never, you never have the same day twice. It's a lot of fun. You learn a lot. A lot of customers will ask like, oh, do you go through a training when you work for Mac? And no, you don't. You're already supposed to know a little bit about makeup, but once you do get hired on as a permanent artist, then you go through a one week training where a lot of it is about customer service um, while you're also learning makeup tricks and tips. Um, you're looking at trainers, do makeup applications on models, um, they're watching you do it, they're giving you tips and tricks, and it's moments like that where you are really able to challenge yourself and learn more about yourself as an artist. The only way that you're able to grow is if you continue to challenge yourself, and Mac is always challenging you, whether it's purposely by um, going through certifications, or if it's just with a customer that you have sitting in your chair. You know, you never know what it is that you're going to go through that day at work. It can either be a very positive experience or it can be a negative experience, but everything helps you grow. And in my three years now at Mac, I can say that I've honestly learned a lot about myself and about who I am as an artist. My, um, taste in makeup and my skills have grown tremendously since I started. My biggest thing is, you know, you never want to feel like you've learned it all because the second you feel like you've learned it all is when you stop learning and you never want to hit that phase, especially in makeup, because the second that you think you know everything, it's like, what are you even doing here, girl? Like, just get, get, get going. Like, what? I don't get it. So I basically feel like I covered it all about getting in a Mac. Yeah. So I think I covered everything. If I didn't, feel free to comment down below and ask me or you can also email me, whatever it is that you choose to do. I'm here to help and if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm full of answers or at least I'm going to try to be. Um, but yeah, if there's any questions on how to get into Mac or about my experiences, then just let me know and I'll answer back to you guys. So thanks for tuning in on how to get a job at Mac and how my whole makeup background started. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.